Hello and welcome back to OAP Gaming and The Last Remnant Remastered. In the last episode, if you remember, we did Sledgehammer and Neftis, two rares, because we needed components. And today, we are going to do the Bandit, because that gives up a nice bit of gold. I think it's just over 14,000. And it also gives us the Daimyo Katana. It's a very nice thing to do. So, as you will see when I come off of this screen, we are already in Vale of the Gods. The bandit has spawned. So I'm going to save it, just in case we don't get it, because you're not guaranteed to get the Daimyo Katana. So we can always just reload the save until we get it. So, and after that, once we get the required items from the bandit, we will be going to Melfina, which we haven't been to yet, to continue, or to, should I say, to finish Darian's quest. Uh, we'll be upgrading... We will be getting, we will be creating, should I say, the Assassin's Dagger and the Ram's Skull. And if you've been following the playthrough, you will know we've been collecting components as we go, just for this very reason. So anyway, without any further ramblings from me, let's go and see if we can get what we need from this bandit. Let's do this! Be nice to get it first time, but... As you know, if you've been following, <laughs> that rarely happens. But we can hope. We can hope. Come on, let's kick some A. Check this out. Ah! Huh? Attack them from their flight. Boring. Sweet! 
I feel stronger than before! Well, see, 14,000 pounds, 37 gold, but we didn't get... We didn't get the Daimyo Katana, which is what I wanted. So what I'm going to do, I will stop recording and just reload the save until we get the Daimyo Katana as well. So I will see you in a bit. Welcome back everyone, and here we are. Attempt number 11 to get the Daimyo Katana. Will it give me it this time, finally? It's all down to the RNG. Hopefully, on, it will. Check this out, huh? Steady there! Attack them from that flight! What's this? Check this out! I hope I've grown stronger than before. And there is the Daimyo Katana, which is a very good upgrade for Vega. So I'm going to allow them to have that, which is wonderful. And we get a nice bit of gold and a bone necklace, which is very good. Mystic Resistance plus two and Venom Defense plus two. That's excellent if one of my characters is going to ask for it. So well, there we go. We finally got it. I think that was turn attempt 12, I think. 11 or 12. Just move away from those frogs because I don't want to fight them. So we can now finally move on. <laughs> and we are going to go to Melfina. Um, yes, Proxis, you can have it. I have to think then. We're going to Melfina, a place we actually haven't been yet. We've opened it up, but we haven't been. And this, if you remember a couple of videos ago, I think it was now, we began Darien's quest. Well, this is where 
his quest takes place. There's no fighting. You just have to talk to a, a few people. And then that's his quest done. It's pretty simple. And straightforward. So first of all, we talk to this gentleman here. The festival head. So, after you've spoken to him twice, you then have to go talk to this lady here, the sales girl. She tells us who we need to speak to next. And we also want to pick up this. Book of Remembrance. This is part of Jorgen's quest, which we will be doing shortly. And here's Costa, so we have to speak to him. you another clue as to who you should be speaking to next it is Costa's wife Costa's in trouble now. The wife's found out that he's been skiving. Yes, we did, we had to, otherwise we can't get the chalice.
So he tells us who we have to speak to next. We have to go and speak to Bino, who is over here. And now we go back to speak to the first person, the festival head. Here we go. And we get the chalice, which we now have to return to Darien. But before we do, we need to come here. We cannot equip any of the weapons here because they are CT specific. But what we want to do, we need to buy a Kukure. Yes, we do want to buy it. And... We also want to buy a mace. There we go. And now we come here to the customization shop, customize equipment, the Kokori to a combat Kokori. Combat Kokuri to... Oh, I'm, I'm short of one steel ore. Not a problem. I thought I had it all. That's okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. We shall quickly go back. We now want the mace to the commander's mace. Nope. Commander's mace, very expensive. Two, the ram skull. And there we have it. We've been collecting them components all along. So now, my fault, what we have to do, we will quickly, quickly, he says, we will quickly run back to the catacombs and pick up the steel ore. I'm sorry about this, I could have sworn I'd... Because we came here a few times digging for it. Ah, oh, dearie me. That is the first time that has happened where I've gone there to upgrade and I've missed a component. So we'll quickly rush through here. Luckily, it's not too far in. So we need one steel ore. I can't believe we haven't got it. I, I, I am gobsmacked. I'm in shock. I'm not going to lie. I'm in shock that I didn't have it. So, come here. Come on out! Steal off. Okay, later. Well, while I'm here, I may as well just do all the digs. All right! Awesome! Uh. Hmm? All right! Awesome! Hmm? 
I still can't believe I didn't have the steel logs. I mean, did I use it up on something else or something? All right! Awesome! Yes, yeah, so we finally created the Ram Skull and the Assassin's Dagger when we go back with the steel ore. All right! Which awesome. are skill tasks. There we go, so back to Melfina to get the Assassin's Dagger. Or should I say, to create the Assassin's Dagger. We've been collecting the components for these since, well, since the very beginning of the game. And we are still collecting components for the Mermaid's Malice, which becomes available later in the game. So if you've been watching, you too will have created the Assassin's Dagger and the Ram Skull. There we go, the Assassin's Dagger. And then you can upgrade it if you so desire. If you've got somebody in your party who uses this, you can upgrade it to the Crimson Dagger if you get all those others. But there we go, they are guild tasks and they are done. So, before we go turning Darian's quest, I just want to check this guild. There we go. I always like to talk to people. Especially this geography savvy night. Because he mention, mentions Cybumboa. which means another area of the map will become available. So, back to Illusion. And there is a fourth path. That's because we spoke to that person in the guild task. So now we go back to Illusion. And we speak to Darian. This is all good stuff. Twenty-five gold is really generous. So, as he says, we can hire him if we wish. I always do, because he hits very hard. And so he will, I will 
hired him for now. Sometimes I keep him in my final 18 and sometimes I don't. So now let's go to the guild. And there he is, Darian. He comes up pretty well, you know. A lot of skills already there. Are you kidding me? Who can I dismiss? Bolton, no. Rebecca, I'll need you shortly. Uh, no. Perneth. Sorry, Perneth, but you have to go. Because we need Darian. So, we've now got Darian. He will be joining us very shortly. He'll be, I'll be rearranging the parties. So now, we're going to go to Cellar Palais. And we're going to turn in some of the quests. There's a Yerna Magus we needed to do, which we did. I think that was in the last episode we did that. The Undine Core. There's the Ram Skull. The Daimyo Katana, which took us so long to get from the bandit in the Vale of the Gods, if you do remember. That's why we did it. So there we go. I mean, you can create the Daimyo Katana yourself, but you'd have to collect all the components, go through all the upgrading, cost you a fortune. And although it took us, what, 11 tries to finally get the Katana, it's worth it. Yes, we'll just chat to you a minute. Right. So while we're here, we will just check this guild as well, because I can't remember if... We have some guild tasks here which have been done. Oh, we do, we've got a collect, we've got a couple. And there's the assassin's dagger. There we go. So, at this stage in the game, if you've been following the playthrough, you have right now the option, if you so desire, to go do the Godwood grind again, just to get some of your healers a little bit higher. That is optional. You don't have to do it. I don't do it. I'm quite happy with the way my healers are. But if you wish to, then you can go back and do the Godwood grind, which if you remember, that is in Numa Mines. So now we're going to Athlam, and the first thing I'm going to do is get all my potions built up because we are going to need them. Now, if you've been following the playthrough, you will know that every time we come here, I keep on saying, don't go to the castle, don't go to the castle, it's going to move the story on. I just want to check to see about Loki and Norda, are they, because I've already spoken to them, I want to see, no they haven't, because when I've been saying, don't go to the castle, just yet, it will move the story on, this is why now, now, we go to the castle and we move the story on. And you'll understand why I said don't move, you know, we don't want to move the story on just yet. So, there is a cutscene. 
So enjoy the cutscene when it appears. Conqueror's forces and the Duke of Kubine's guard have met at the nest of eagles. And it seems Selafile is taking quite a beating. Togel, Blockter, we'd better hurry to assist them. Parkas, Emma, you and Rush stay here and keep watch over Afro. Lord David, if I may speak. The Conqueror raised an army and attacked Selipale without giving us a second thought. Our enemy's strength and impudence are clear, as are the consequences of this battle. If Selipale falls, Athlum will be next. If even one extra man could increase your chances, you should take him. Emma. Take the others. I will protect Athlum with my life. Understood. Take good care of her. Yes, my lord. Come on, then. All forces. Two arms. Yes, my lord. Emma has left the party. So, we need to do some rearranging before we do the Nest of Eagles, but that is going to be in the next episode. We will kick off with a tough battle here at the Nest of Eagles. That will be the very first thing we come. I will rearrange the party before we go into there. Uh, so, if you've enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, informative, or whatever, please consider hitting the like button. It really does help me out, and I do appreciate it. Please leave a comment if you like. Good, bad, or indifferent. I appreciate them all. And even consider subscribing to the channel. It's totally free, costs you not a jot. And that way you won't miss a single episode of this game and other games I will be posting on the channel. So hopefully I will see you in the next one. And until then, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated.